Right, I'm on my way to fetch my son from school and I thought I would do another demonstration video for you on how to drive economically. I've now shifted into fourth gear doing about just under 40 kilometers an hour. No need to drive fast. Approaching a speed bump. Slow down into second for the speed bump, over the speed bump and accelerate again. Take it up to just under 2,000 waves per minute. Change into third gear. Into fourth gear. Doing 40 kilometers an hour. I've only driven a short distance. And the economy is sitting at 16.8 that's because the car has just been started so the economy will be high it will drop as time goes on I'm on a short downhill now so cars in neutral nobody behind me so I'm not inconveniencing anybody there's a car about 40 meters in front of me no need to drive fast and as you can see coasting in neutral brings that economy down quite rapidly approaching a speed uh, circle around the circle we go over the speed bump and accelerating again just to get some speed back in neutral again see the speedometers on just over 40 now This is in a suburban area, so there's no real need or space to go anything above 60 anyway. And in these residential areas that I live in, going above 60 is against the law anyway. Not that everybody listens to the law, but I'm just saying. Fourth gear, about 2,000 revs, doing just under 60, slowing down for a red robot. And the robots change green. That's another thing is I slow down before the robot so that I can keep the momentum. If the robot changes green, I don't have to start shifting from first gear again. I kept it there in third gear because the robot changed green instead of rushing to the robot and then waiting just slow down a bit keep the car moving and if the robot changes you can get then into you can start pulling away from third gear instead of you know, wasting your fuel in first and second gear Slowing down into second gear for a speed bump, over the speed bump, and now accelerating again. See the economy has dropped down to 10.8, it was 10.7, it just jumped up there because I was accelerating away. And now I'm on a flat piece of road, nobody behind me, and I will just coast a little bit, keeping that speed just under 60. Revs around about 800 RPM, and you see that economy immediately is dro dropping again. Let's see what other information we can get you. Two kilometers I've already driven, average speed at 33. Five minutes of driving, instant economy, as you can see when I've got the car in neutral, is next to nothing, because I'm approaching the road where I need to turn now into my son's school, and uh, yeah, 1.6 kilometers per hundred, if you could freewheel for 100 kilometers you would use one and a half liters of fuel, 
obviously that's not realistic and not possible but this gives you an idea of how you can save fuel even if it's over a short period of time let's go back to, back to the overall fuel consumption already down to 8.7 just through some economical driving and this is a very very short distance I've driven to fetch my son to school at school which is only about four and a half or five kilometers from my home I'm almost there now and as you can see that short trip 8.7 8.6 and that's probably where it'll stop as I park my vehicle thank you for watching if you enjoy my videos like and subscribe